Hello, my name is Pavel Muk. Welcome in today's interview with Christian Berdal. Welcome, Christian. Today, I, nice to meet you again. Nice to see you again. Uh, I would like to ask you something about your family, how it's with you, and uh, tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Uh, you want to know about my family? Yeah. Uh, I'm married to a beautiful woman named Kobe. She's mm -hmm. not only pretty on the outside, but she's pretty on the inside. Mm -hmm. I have two amazing boys. I have a Tyler who's 17 years old mm -hmm. and another son, Micah, who's 15. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and we live in New Mexico, mm -hmm. which is one of the states in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, and now you are working with your production, you have your own studio there. Yes. Actually, your son, son Tyler is helping you out there. Yes, in fact, yeah. um, we have several employees. We have a ministry building, mm -hmm. and in that building we have offices, as well as a full production studio. Mm -hmm. And um, Tyler is almost ready to graduate high school, mm -hmm. and um, his secondary education. And uh, he's going to start working in production with me, so we're mm -hmm. starting to train him. Oh, yeah, it's the uh, best school at home. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Uh, you are, your name is a Christian, but you are not only a Christian by name, but yeah. a Christian by character. By, by God's <laughs> grace, by God's grace. Amen. My mother gave me that name. Yeah. Uh, she didn't, she just liked it. She was not a, uh, a Christian at the time. Mm -hmm. She liked the name, named me Christian. Mm -hmm. And I asked her one day, why did you name me Christian? She mm -hmm. said, I just like the name. Mm -hmm. She says, but now it, I think it was prophetic because <laughs> you're now a Christian. Yeah, wow, that's very nice. Yes. So that's my question. Another question is, the Christian, you were not always been Christian mm -hmm. in your life. What led you to the Christianity? What led you to the Jesus Christ? Yeah. And who led you, if you can? Sure. Um, it was a very long process. Mm -hmm. Uh, it took several years for the Lord to finally get my heart. Mm -hmm. um, I met originally a group of, of Seventh-day Adventists mm -hmm. who were putting on a camp meeting. Mm -hmm. And I was hired, because I've been in TV production most of my life, mm -hmm. and I was hired to direct a uh, three-camera shoot. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize I was going to be shooting religious meetings all <laughs> weekend long. So for four days, I listened to all of this amazing... Christian, amazing Adventist uh, uh, teaching. So you were atheist? I, I wasn't uh, atheist. First time. I was more ag yeah. agnostic. Yeah. You know. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was mad at God, uh -huh. if there was a God. Oh, yeah. So I, yeah. I wasn't interested. Mm -hmm. However, as I listened more and more, mm -hmm. I became very interested. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't tell anybody that, but I was very interested in my heart. Mm -hmm. uh, Danny Vieira, uh, was the man that was putting on this little camp meeting mm -hmm. and um, he befriended me. We became friends mm -hmm. and it took a number of years but mm -hmm. eventually um, the Lord used him mm -hmm. in the process to lead me to giving my heart to Jesus. Oh, amen. 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 And I have heard recently your story. Mm -hmm. You are doing a whole documentary. I think it's three hours or... Yes. Yeah. We have a... Mm -hmm. we have a a documentary mm -hmm. that's called Broken to Breakthrough. Mm -hmm. I went from being, being a broken child because mm -hmm. I was abused, mm -hmm. neglected, mm -hmm. two divorces, mm -hmm. and it was a very tragic childhood. Mm -hmm. And all of us were broken, me, my mom, and my two brothers. And so we made a documentary where we went and interviewed mm -hmm. my brothers, my mother, mm -hmm. my biological father, and everyone that was significant in my life. Mm -hmm. Because the beautiful story is, mm -hmm. all of us are now Christians, oh. and we're all serving the Lord in different ways. Wow. Yeah, it's very powerful. It's like incredible miracle. It is, yes. Almost unbelievable. It's incredible. Wow. And, and we have a DVD on that. Okay. It's three hours long. It's very powerful. Wow. Yeah. wow. I've heard some little testimonies about it. Mm. It's amazing, amazing. So now your whole family is your Christians. Yes, yes. Wow. And your family is Adventist? No, mm. just just me and my wife yeah. and my yeah. two boys. Okay, yeah. that's very nice. Yeah. Wow. Have that's to start true. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's true. So... Uh, you said a little bit about your childhood. Yes. Uh, it was not easy for you. No. And um, some of the viewers can relate maybe to that. Sure. And maybe here is a question that is coming out. Uh, why, why, why I am doing and going through it? Mm, and yeah. why God is uh, 
uh, he's allowing that in yes. my life. Yes. So that's the question, maybe the secret question, maybe you already was uh, answering for that in your life. And yeah, yeah. I, I understand your question. And it's a big question and sometimes it's kind of hard to mm. answer. Mm. Well, you don't always know why God allows certain things to happen. Mm. Um, however, in my case with my family, mm. Uh, my mother made certain choices mm -hmm. when she chose to be with a young man mm -hmm. that wasn't ready to provide for the family. He was mm -hmm. just a young teenager mm -hmm. that made it difficult. Mm -hmm. It wasn't God's fault. Mm -hmm. It was her choice, right? Mm -hmm. And then she had two more children, mm -hmm. some more choices, mm -hmm. which made it harder. Mm -hmm. She didn't leave him earlier mm -hmm. when he was drinking and doing drugs. Mm -hmm. Another bad choice. Mm -hmm. So why did God allow it? Because my mom has free will. Mm -hmm. She can make her choices. Mm -hmm. So her choices made it hard on mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. and us children. Mm -hmm. Also, when she remarried, mm -hmm. divorced my, my father, and then remarried my stepdad, mm -hmm. um, he became very abusive and extremely violent mm -hmm. toward us. Mm -hmm. So she again made the choice to marry him, not a good choice, mm -hmm. and stayed with him for almost 10 years. For mm -hmm. nine years, mm -hmm. we were in that horrible situation mm -hmm. where we were beaten and whipped and hit in the head and uh, neglected and, and told we weren't worth anything and we should have never been born and just all these horrible, horrible things. Mm -hmm. And we lived with that for about nine years. Now, did God allow it? Yes. Mm -hmm. He allowed it because my mother, again, had free will. Mm -hmm. And mom and dad are responsible for the children. Mm -hmm. And while it wasn't my choice, I was still mm -hmm. a young person. Mm -hmm. I was a minor. Mm -hmm. So I have to be with my mother and my stepfather. So her choices made it difficult for us. Mm -hmm. And that's something that she had to own. She had to say, I, it was my fault. I kept us there. Mm -hmm. So because of my mom's choices, it made us hard, made it hard for us. Mm -hmm. Eventually, as I got older, mm -hmm. I realized this was not okay and I didn't want it anymore. Mm -hmm. And shortly after, I went to a counselor at school and said, I'm mm -hmm. having problems at home. My mother woke up. Mm -hmm. She made a plan for us to escape. Mm -hmm. And we had the police officers there in the morning. Oh. Um, when she told him, that my, my stepdad, that mm -hmm. she was going to divorce him. Mm -hmm. And uh, we escaped. Mm -hmm. She had put a plan together and mm -hmm. we got out. So by her good choices, mm -hmm. we were now free. Mm -hmm. By her bad choices, we were in bondage before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So God allowed it mm -hmm. because of free will. Mm -hmm. It wasn't what God wanted for me, mm -hmm. for my brothers, or for her. Mm -hmm. But it's what she chose. And God does not force our choice. Yeah, that's true. That's it's a true. very difficult lesson to learn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes time mm -hmm. to realize that. Uh, but at the same time, you went through it, uh, you experienced it in mm -hmm. your life. But now I know you, uh, you are not like the person with a face uh, always murmuring, well, why God, why God? But mm. you, you are happy, enthusiastic. Mm. I yes. know you are making jokes all the time. Sure, yes. People, young people love you just, you go around the world making just funny videos. <laughs> I can see it even. Sure. And uh, what gives you the courage and to go yeah. through life and just be happy and... It's, it's a choice. Yeah. Now, don't misunderstand. Mm. I still have some days that mm. are, are tough. Mm. I'm not always happy and you know, mm. perfectly filled with joy mm. because we're in this world and we struggle. Mm. Um, and if I'm not careful, mm -hmm. I can go down pretty quickly mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. depression. So mm -hmm. for me, the Bible says that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And a broken spirit mm -hmm. drieth the bones. Mm -hmm. So if, if we don't have uh, a connection with God, mm -hmm. then we're going to be like dried up, brittle bones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's not going to be any life there. Mm -hmm. But when I, and that's what I was before. Mm -hmm. On the outside, it looked okay, but on the inside, I was hollow. Mm -hmm. And when I found God, and He started to change my heart, and it became very real for me, mm -hmm. then I started to allow some of all the pain and mm -hmm. all the weight to come off of my shoulders mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I started feeling lighter mm -hmm. and before you know it I'm starting to feel 
joyful and mm -hmm. and we have a a lot of laughter in our home um and and also also sometimes dealing with all of the the pain mm -hmm. uh, of the past one challenge i have is that everywhere i go everybody wants to hear my story mm -hmm. So for me, it's very difficult mm -hmm. because I have to relive this over mm. and over and over again. Mm. Most of the time, that is not what happens in someone's life. Mm. They'll deal with it and they put it away and it's that's done. It. It's, yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. But for us, for me and people that give our testimonies repeatedly, mm. it creates a, an environment where I, if I was not happy and joyful and even joking around, yeah. I could wind up becoming... Uh, quite depressed mm -hmm. if I hadn't given it to the Lord mm -hmm. and if because I keep going over it yeah. and the way that the brain works mm -hmm. is that when whatever you have going on inside of your your mind mm -hmm. if you're exposed to something and it's sad it'll go and start tickling all of those sad files mm -hmm. or all the bad memories so for me mm -hmm. um, it's very important to look on the brighter side some, what's interesting is the last year and a half I was working on my documentary, mm -hmm. I found actually I was much more sad oh. and much more irritated and frustrated. Mm -hmm. uh, and I hadn't realized why, mm -hmm. but because I was going through all of this very hard, dark stuff in my life. I'm done with that and it's better now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And of course, I know you have maybe promises that you are holding on like the rope and now... I will do, I will keep them Amen. in my heart and also the the Bible gives you that courage and yes. you read it and the experience. And when you share also your testimony how God led your family and how it's an amazing story. People mm -hmm. can watch it there. Your whole documentary, how God yeah. led your family, and it's always amazing when somebody gives their heart to Jesus. Amen. Especially if it's close one. Yes, yes. Yeah, so it's very beautiful. Amen. Wow. Now we will have a short break. I will encourage you to, to hear the, one of the Christian songs that we will play now. tender mercy who through life has been my guide heavenly peace divinest comfort here by faith in him to dwell for I know whatever befall me Jesus doeth all things well for I know whatever befall do with all things well. All the way my Savior leads me, cheers each winding path I tread, gives me grace for every trial, feeds me with the living bread. Though my weary steps may falter, and my soul a thirst may be, gushing from the rock before me, lo, a spring of joy I see, gushing from the rock before me, lo, a spring of joy I see. I hope you enjoyed the song. It was so beautiful. And we have Christian here with us again. Yes. Welcome, Christian. But with him is his son, Tyler. Yes. Right? Hi. And welcome here. Thank you. And it's nice to see you. It's yes. your first time. Yes. Actually, your first time in Czech Republic. Yes. Yeah. yeah. How do you like it? It's Love it. It's great. Yeah. Had a great experience so far. Well, you were in Poland also. And yes. Now we are heading to, to yeah. Slovak. Republic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Wow. It's nice. Yeah. Experience. Very, very cool. Oh. <laughs> Christian, uh, you are talking about your life, your family. Mm -hmm. Then you share a little bit from your uh, childhood and how you became a Christian. Mm -hmm. And uh, your main focus of your ministry is to preach and speak about the music. 
Yeah, that yeah. wasn't always my plan, but yes. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's uh, it's going around the world. Mm. So like a viral. <laughs> yes. And uh, be, people lives are changed, and mm. it's making difference in the lives of people. My question would be, you, as you said, you were not always a Christian. Right. But then you realize something is not good. Mm -hmm. What you are listening to, what you are watching, mm -hmm. and everything like you talking one of in one of your presentation that we have a five senses, five senses, and uh, they are a great avenues to our soul. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's not only the music, but what influencing us. It's all, all something that we watch mm -hmm. and what we are touching and everything. Right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, my question will be. Uh, when you realize that something is not good, that you, there is some changes you, you need to do, mm -hmm. uh, uh, how how it was, uh, because it's not just one day you listen to, the, for example, I don't know, but hard rock or so, something, maybe some young people are listening to something they laugh and they enjoy and they have always on the ears, mm -hmm. but now they realize, they see your presentation, they realize something beautiful and they feel peace and they want to, and they have desire to to do something different mm -hmm. and it but how how did how was your experience because it was not like click and today i'm listening to the hard rock and today tomorrow i'll listen to mozart or whatever right um, for me i had a very wide range of music i listened to mm -hmm. everything from classical to mm -hmm. to rap mm -hmm. and hip-hop and heavy metal and metal and pop music and uh, uh, movie uh, um, music mm -hmm. and Broadway music. I mean, I listened to everything, <laughs> quite mm -hmm. frankly, mm -hmm. um, because I, I was always a, a connoisseur of music in a sense, where I was just really putting a lot of different types mm -hmm. of music into my mind. But uh, for me, when I did, uh, when the Lord started our ministry, mm -hmm. I started doing singing and doing concerts mm -hmm. and preaching. And I had a lot of people coming up to me asking me questions about mm -hmm. what kind of music is okay. Mm -hmm. And I was confused myself because mm -hmm. I could sing um, one song and have some people come up to me and say, that was very beautiful, thank you, it ministered to me. While I would have someone from the exact same song at the same event come up to me and say, I was singing the devil's music. Mm -hmm. So I knew they both couldn't be right. Mm -hmm. And frankly, I didn't think I was singing the devil's music mm -hmm. and I needed to study this out because mm -hmm. more people kept asking questions, you know, is this okay? Is that okay? And I, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So Kobe, my wife and I began to study out the subject of music specifically. Mm -hmm. And I started to understand certain things. Mm -hmm. And then I decided, wow, we need to make some changes. Mm -hmm. uh, I needed to specifically and I never told my wife you need to make these changes mm -hmm. we each have our own Christian walk mm -hmm. and we decided that um, I was I was uh, ahead of her and going faster than she was mm -hmm. and uh, back in that time you had cassette tapes mm -hmm. or you had CDs we didn't have iPods yet or mm -hmm. mp3 players yet mm -hmm. so uh, the way you deleted files back then was to throw them away mm -hmm. <laughs> literally <laughs> trash them don't just put them in the trash bin literally throw them in the trash right yeah. so this is a process that i went through and was yeah. cutting up my cds and throwing mm -hmm. them away i didn't give them away i didn't sell them <laughs> because if it was not good for me it's not mm -hmm. good for somebody else yeah so it was thousands of dollars mm -hmm. over time of, oh. of music and of movies mm -hmm. i started throwing away mm -hmm. so um for me i had to go through that process mm -hmm. but I also kept the good music. I mm -hmm. didn't throw everything away. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I recommend for people now mm -hmm. is uh, I'm a little bit more refined in it and because mm -hmm. I've experimented and, and mm -hmm. uh, with different people and trying different things. And what, what I found works the best mm -hmm. is to take a media fast oh, yeah. and to mm -hmm. fast mm -hmm. from your media for 90 days. Mm -hmm. Now that's a Whoa. long time. That's a long time. And the reason I say for 90 days, however, let me ask you a question. Mm. How fast has this year gone? So, this year's yeah. flying by, yeah. right? Mm. We were just in summer. We're already in fall. Yeah, it's, it's almost That's annoying. That's four months. Yeah. So three months goes so fast. Yeah. Mm. It, it's so fast. Mm -hmm. But in that three months, you can radically change mm -hmm. your life. If you're feeling a pull toward all this kind of stuff, music or movies or things that, you know, they're just 
probably not the best for your mm -hmm. soul. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do is to fast from it, replace it with reading, Bible study, mm -hmm. um, and and maybe learning to play the piano or, or yeah, play an yeah. instrument. That's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. uh, all of a sudden, you'll have a lot of free time. Oh, yeah. And the reason I say 90 days is because scientifically they've proven that it takes about 40 to 50 days mm -hmm. to create a new habit. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, and so I figured, let's double it just to be mm -hmm. safe, right? <laughs> so we're getting really strong in that habit. But after... Uh, I have a whole program. They, people can visit my website. Mm -hmm. uh, go to shepherdscall.com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on there, we, we outline the 90-day program, how mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Because at day 45, mm -hmm. what you're going to do is you're going to um, have already deleted everything that you know you should have gotten rid of at the beginning. Day 45, you can go back and listen to some different ones and go, oh, that, yeah, no, I shouldn't be listening to that either. Because your tastes will have been refined in that mm -hmm. amount of time. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then at day 45, mm -hmm. if you add in music, for instance, mm -hmm. then listen to what you have left of your music, mm -hmm. delete what you know is inappropriate, and if you're not sure, just leave it there for the, the rest of the 45 days. At the end of 45 days, mm -hmm. come back and listen to it. You'll be amazed mm -hmm. at how good you can hear things now. Mm -hmm. And then every week in that 45-day process, the second 45 days, add another type of media back in. Add your movies, add your TV, or whatever your internet. Yeah. Now, you might have to use the internet for work mm -hmm. or doing emails, um, but you don't have to do uh, the internet for social media. You don't. You can actually live without it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can. Yeah. I experienced that. I, I tried for one week. Yeah. It's hard because we have TV ministry yes. mm -hmm. to get rid of this or Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter account, right. everything. Mm -hmm. I, I, I took that off, mm -hmm. tried it. But it's amazing, the peace. I work on the garden, mm -hmm. uh, read the books. I had so, so much time now to read. Yes. Uh, wow. We are wasting so much time. Yeah. People just get on the internet yeah. and go, what do I want to look up today? Yeah. What am I going to do? And before you know it, an email comes. They see something. Oh, they're clicking on a link. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, three or four hours are gone. Yeah. Whoa, it's yeah. dark outside. It, yeah. How did that happen? Yeah. It's, it just sucks the life right out of us. And yeah. people say, but I want to learn piano, or I want to learn to paint. Mm -hmm. You have time, mm -hmm. especially if you get rid of a lot of the junk in the media that you have. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty as well. I know mm -hmm. that it comes back into my life, and mm -hmm. i got to take a step away. It comes back into my life. got to mm -hmm. take a step away. It's amazing mm -hmm. how it just goes, it gets a hold of you. Yeah. It's incredible. Oh. So taking that fast, mm -hmm. it can work a miracle for you. 90 days. Mm -hmm. wow. But if you go to our website... Download it. It'll explain it okay. step by step. Very okay. easy. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Ramesh. Yeah. Thank you. Now we, we I want to ask a question because you realize something is not good in your life. Mm -hmm. But what is important? I'm mm -hmm. thinking now about uh, you said you you get the idea, and now your wife Kobe didn't know about it, mm -hmm. and you were not like. Uh, forcing her <laughs> now this is bad you need to mm -hmm. do it sometimes we we realize something is so good and now we are going uh, to some uh, mm -hmm. fellow brothers or some uh, cl close friends mm -hmm. and we say this is not good you should not be doing this because this is like that 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 right, right. yeah so so it's very important to 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 give the free will to the others and let that's they right. will know what is the best that's exactly right yeah. yep yeah so it's very nice you have your own ministry, right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. uh, it's uh, you're doing productions. Mm -hmm. uh, you are going all around the world with the seminars about mm -hmm. music, mm -hmm. but you are not only doing a production with music, but right. you are also doing about health and what what you're doing there. Yeah, our our ministry is is really threefold. It's singing, mm -hmm. speaking, and media production. Mm -hmm. And so um, sometimes I'm out doing concerts mm -hmm. and speaking. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm just speaking. Mm -hmm. Other times I am doing production, mm -hmm. and our goal is in all three of those different mediums. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you have music, which is a medium. You mm -hmm. have verbal communication, mm -hmm. which is a medium, and you have media that incorporates mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to get out there the truth about God and Christian living in different ways. Mm -hmm. You mentioned we have the music seminar. We have a new seminar coming up uh, the in the middle of next year, mm -hmm. which will be all on social media and mm -hmm. online gaming. We have another um, seminar that's coming out just on health, mm 
Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to start filming um, short stories and mm -hmm. documentaries. Wow. Yeah, and so there's, there's a lot we have going on. Uh, maybe other people will enjoy in, your highways and byways. We also have the highways yes. and byways, that's right, which uh, is a, we, not every place I go, but for instance, while I've been here in Poland, Czech Republic, and Slovakia, uh, we've been shooting the events and mm -hmm. shooting yeah. uh, what we're doing and where mm -hmm. we're staying and mm -hmm. where we're going. And mm -hmm. so you get a little behind the scenes peek at what uh, mm -hmm. a traveling, singing, and preaching uh, minister goes through. <laughs> uh, uh, I love the, the health series. It's mm -hmm. just the behind the scene when you go to the balloon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's going to be a neat series when we're done with uh, it. When Tyler is helping you out in the studio, Tell her how do you like it? What what is your work like there? I I love it. It's um I uh, haven't been in it for a very long time. I've just now started mm -hmm. to really jump into it because I've just mm -hmm. at the age I am I just started figuring out the different things that I like doing, mm -hmm. um and video production and this whole world is something that I'm very interested in and I like doing it and I have a great asset I can go into the ministry and pick up a camera and learn mm -hmm. and just uh, go crazy, you know, have fun. Um, I, I'm excited to be learning this mm -hmm. stuff, you know, and so I think it's just going to be a cool experience too. So if you, what do you recommend to the people that they will be involved in this, in this uh, ministry? Uh, in, what if, do you like the most there? Oh, what do I like the most? Oh uh, boy. Uh, yes. I think when we go out um, and do uh, shoots, out location shots, yeah. where we, where we uh, drive out to some place and we have mm -hmm. uh, a script, or, or what we just did um, a couple of weeks ago was we did Man on the Street, which mm -hmm. we just take cameras and we go and interview people that are just walking on the street. And that was a oh. lot of fun. We could just um, did it for few hours and it was it was just it was just cool it's oh, a really oh. neat experience yeah oh, that's very nice yeah <laughs> we decided also to to translate some of the videos that uh, this ministry are doing mm -hmm. uh, when for instance we we are decided with your cooperation to translate the whole series of distraction dilemma yes, yes. maybe you can share a little bit about the distraction <coughs> we already have the promo video there uh, what is it about and uh, the distraction limit is a music seminar that covers probably almost everything you'd want to know about music in the sense of what should we as Christians be listening to or what should we be avoiding um, and uh, you put together a flyer Paul that um, you have a website that you've developed and you're gonna have uh, the entire 12 hour seminar mm -hmm. translated and available for them to watch and mm -hmm. I'm very thankful you're doing mm -hmm. that work amazing. Um, amen and so uh, we go through basically what our trials and struggles were uh, in with music before we go through a, a history of music we go into mm -hmm. uh, music and body mechanics or body language and music mechanics we go into contemporary Christian music we go into music and worship and we really hit every facet that we possibly can. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it an exhaustive, I shouldn't say that you'll learn everything. Uh, it, it's an exhaustive, mm -hmm. uh, it's not an exhaustive uh, study, but it's very thorough. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the time you're done listening to that, um, and we end up talking about the 90 day media fast on there specifically, mm -hmm. and how to do it, by the time you're done watching those, most of your answers will be, uh, most of your questions will be answered. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Thank you for that. And it was released 2001, I think? No, yeah. no, no. It was released uh, 2012 or 13. Uh, yeah, it, it was just released a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's mm. everywhere in the world. Yeah. It's, it's, it's everywhere. It's yeah. incredible what God's doing. With many that, yeah. testimonies about that. Yeah. Amen. Well, I hope this will change also some hearts of the people in Czech Republic too, Amen. and it will be a blessing for many. Yeah. Amen. I hope we so. We actually are offering this for the in the DVDs for free. That's wonderful. Yeah, so. so they're free. You can <laughs> actually get them for free. Yeah. That's great. So anybody can afford that. Yeah, they can go to the <laughs> website, which is called www. Uh, dilemma pobavení dot webnode dot uh, cz. 
Mm. And they can go there, they can look for the, they can see the project, how it's developed, because now we are in translation work. Now we have some more people coming out if you want to help out with the translation or correction. We have uh, so much to do, but we hope God will bless us and he will, he will really uh, do it for us. And then we will do over voice uh, dubbing for that. So, so you can go to the section of news and then you will see the percentage of the work being done already. So you can, you can uh, see, but at the same time, you can already have to order the DVDs. Everything is for free. E either you are in Czech Republic or Slovak Republic, you can order them for free. You just fill the simple formula there. It's a, a shop, but it's zero. It's, it's uh, no cost for you. Uh, so uh, it's very nice. It's mm -hmm. very nice. Yeah. And I'm thankful that you're doing that work. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I will continue to pray that God will bless your efforts mm -hmm. and that many, many people watch these videos mm -hmm. um, and, and get the information that they need. Uh, so God bless you and your efforts. Thank you very much. Maybe you will notice also there is another DVD you can order that. Right now we have, we put this website last week and it's already there just four days and we have already uh, 200 orders and mm -hmm. we didn't even finish the project. Amen. So praise the Lord. Amen. People are interested about it. That's yeah. very good. That's it's excellent. very nice. Yes. And there is another project DVD you can put, uh, share with your friends as a gift. It will be a very nice Christ, uh, Christmas gift. Uh, it's uh, the vision of heaven. Mm, Krishna, yeah. you go around the world and you share, you sing also. Yes. You are not only talking about the music, but you sing. Yes. It's beautiful. And uh, the concert is called Vision of Heaven. Amen. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, uh, it was actually the first um, concert that I ever did. God impressed my mind on how to put together uh, reading actually a beautiful uh, vision of heaven uh, by a young lady who was 17 years old and her name was Ellen Harmon. Uh, later she became, got married to James White and she became Ellen White, but she uh, had this beautiful vision to encourage God's people after a very disappointing time uh, in earth's history. And uh, they thought that Jesus was going to come at a certain time. He didn't come at that time. They were wrong in their prophetic interpretation. And God gave this young lady a beautiful vision to encourage them that it was all going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have different song, nine different songs that are uh, interspersed throughout the actual uh, text that I narrate and that I read. Mm -hmm. And so it paints a verbal picture of uh, heaven as well as um, having those supportive songs through it. Mm -hmm. And it creates just this very refreshing, mm -hmm. very happy, wonderful experience in music. Um, and I, it's because God's blessing is on it, mm -hmm. and I believe this it was actually how He started our ministry. Mm -hmm. And I knew this is what God wanted me to do. Wow. So it's also available. We will have the Czech subtitles for that and the Czech narration of the story. So I hope you will enjoy that too. Christian, thank you very much thank you, Paul. for your being here. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I hope you will enjoy the rest of your stay in Czech Republic oh, yeah. and Slovak oh, later yeah. on. So I hope one day maybe we'll see each other again. Amen. And, uh, thank you for the work that you're doing. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. And God bless you and uh, keep staying your eye on the ministry and look for the website. It's again www.dilemapobavani.webnode.cz And order your DVD, give a gift and uh, pray for us. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. All the way my Savior leads me, all the fullness of His love, perfect rest to me is promised in my Father's house above. When I wake to life immortal, wing my flight to realms of day, this my song endless ages Jesus led me all the way this my song through endless ages Jesus led me all